Hi everyone, I'm Dan and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to achieve an S-Log3 in this example from this to this to this using a DCTLR programming language that allows you to create tools, in this case a color grading controller and separator in DaVinci Resolve. This is powerful language enables precise color separation, giving us a footage a unique and stunning look without using any masks. And in this example, I'll be using footage provided by Craig Pruett, who shared his Sony A7S IV camera footage in S-Log3. Uh, as you can see, weddings are a perfect way to achieve warm, earthy tones in a boho style, which has become very trendy lately. However, you can use this method for other types of footage, because, you know, sky is the limit, as long as it looks good. You will need a DCTL profile, which I will provide in the description. So you can download from a GitHub. This profile was created by Steve Yedlin, a renowned Hollywood cinematographer and is now available as a DCTL profile. Okay, enough for the introduction, let's have some fun. First of all, all you need is tetra.dctl from the link in the description. As I said, it was first created by Steve Yedlin, originally implemented for the Nuke, but now you can use it as a DCTL profile. Download this. And you have to put it on your LUTs folder, so open your settings, uh, color management, open LUT folder, and just paste it. Restart DaVinci Resolve, and you are good to go. This is my node graph. It looks like this. This is first layer with the primary adjustments. These are my secondary adjustments for the masks and all other stuff. And here are, and here we can put our, you know, film grain and halation to get that, you know film look all right so we will try to get that look from scratch first of all you need to convert your footage from your s-log3 to some kind of rec 709 which you can use your favorite lot in this example i will use my lots from the sm lot pack which you can get from my website the first one is s-log3 to re log c conversion node which fixes all that kind of you know greenish tones from sony cameras and the second one is my apply look, which gives us a Rec 709 conversion with that already filmic look. As you can see, we need to fix some things. So let's get started. Go to the clip. And now we are only making adjustments for this particular clip. So first node will be our exposure node. Let's name it exposure. We need to fix some contrast, of course. Then we also would like to you know get our balance right the next thing i'd like to do is make those as a parallel nodes okay so create parallel node join like this there we go will be our primary you know fixes on the second layer you can make some fun with you know with the colors with the masks all you want to do which will not affect, you know, the primaries. And then we can also have one node for a film grain. And I'd like to get some halation after that. Okay, so let's fix some exposure first. I'm aiming for the skin tones, maybe even some contrast, but yeah, that's right. There we go. I like to use, for the contrast, I like to use uh, uh, editable splines, which gives me, you know, which gives me much, much more control. There you go. We can even crush some blacks. It all depends on your taste, of course. So I can leave it with this one and as you can see the white balance is set correctly so we don't have you know change things in the balance node but we can use a dctl node so let me show you how can you get it in the library you just put dctl there you go when you put your tetra on lats folder you can get it from here bomb and now the fun begins. As you can see, you have all those channels to mix, which gives us opportunity to get that unique look. So we start from reds and let's make all those reds like... Uh, 
maybe here I will zoom a little bit then we have red and green channel just a little bit zero zero twenty seven yep and red and blue okay let's try this this one oh this one will messes our skin toes so i will leave it like here then we have red green and red so let's make some changes with that we need to make it dirty like yeah like this and then we have green and green which is very important for us for all those leaves and trees i will put like one maybe a little bit more 1.4 and a little bit 58 there you go as you can see here now green and blue bom, 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 bom. One point. There is not much blue here, so. And this steel is not very important. Okay. 60. Maybe. Yes, somewhere here. Blue and red. Blue and red. We can go extreme and then turn back like one, well, maybe one, three, eight. Yeah, I like this. And blue and green. You can you can see how this actually changes our blues. It's two. I like this one. Zero to maybe it's too much. Zero two four nine. Yeah, let's leave it like this. Then we have blue. Okay, this one three, maybe a little bit more. One three nine. I like this one already. It looks great. As you can see, we've made some changes. But it's not the end. We've got some things to do. I think we can get freaky with this one. As you can see. Yeah. And 74. Yep. There is difference. I like this one. Actually very much. As you can see, we desaturated all those, you know, dresses. Bomb. Now we've got cyan and green. So let's get down with this one 0.4 maybe not this much 0.4 i'm feeling like a surgeon right now 0.4 maybe yeah it doesn't do much because we got rid of those greens now we get this one down oh very much one a little bit more one six maybe one six twenty three bomb i like this one so we made colors from blue to yellow guys and this is early enough for me as you can see we've got some you know separation to do and now we have magenta and red we can go down a little bit from magenta and red yeah, like this one, magenta green. So let's get this, turn this up. M58. Or maybe not. No, let's go down. We got some magenta here, so yeah, let's go up. So let's go up a little bit. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Maybe a little bit more. Yes, this is nice. And then we have magenta and blue. Let's go down. Like this one. Yep. 
we can see a difference already. Yellow and red. Yellow and red. This will be a, an important one. Um, maybe. Even more. Like this one. Yep. Yellow and green. Let's get down with this one. Okay. Five, two, two. It's good enough. And then we have yellow and blue. Let's turn this up a little bit. Not too much. Okay. There you go. Bomb. White and red. This is very important because we would like to have you no know, dress to stay white. All right? So we need to be careful. White and red. Oh, it's too much. Just just a tad. Like this. As we can see, the white balance is still on the, you know, good side. And then we have white and green. So we can add just a little bit of green. Not too much. Just like 0029. Oh, nice. This looks nice. I like it. And then we have white and blue, so you can get down with this one. Not too much. Of course, we can, you know, as you can see, the difference is quite visible. So let's get, so let's make a little bit warmer, but not too much. We want this dress looks like this is a white, uh, white dress. And yeah, there you go. The next thing, very important one, actually. Oh, I think we are lacking something here. I would like to pump some saturation, so I will use this node, just in case I change my mind. When you put our saturation here, we will be saturating our whole image. But I will show you the, the better way, the more cinematic way. Use your color space as a HSV, and then we've got all three channels, like, you know, hue, saturation and value. So turn H off and also V off. And all we have right now is just a saturation. And no matter what we do, we will be changing a saturation. So when I put my gain up, I will be changing saturation just in the highlights. As you can see, you can see the difference. And we can make it pop a little bit. There you go. That's too much. That's enough. Before and after. Subtle change, but I like it. And now, all we have to do is put our film grain. Bomb. Let's choose a preset. For example, I like 35 millimeters. Make it more visible. Bomb. Yep. And add some halation. To emulate a film print. Bomb. This is, of course, too much. <laughs> yeah. We need to get this threshold right. Just like this. Add a little bit of strength. And gamma. That's it. That's okay. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Spread. And there you go. Look at the difference before and after. And all we have is that great earthy wedding video. I mean, I think it looks great. But you must be careful because it all depends on the colors of your footage. So yeah, use DCTL and you can make that, you know, look like you want. There you go. It looks great. At least for me. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm sorry for my English. It's not my first language. Uh, I did my best. So if you like it, give a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.